Hey guys, John from Lorenz. Uh, today we're going to go through a little bit of uh, different transducer options that are available on, on Lorenz. We get a lot of uh, inquiries on what transducer is the best suited for your typical application. So what I thought is just to show you the relevant Lorenz transducers that we have. Um, the standard 3-in-1 that you hear of is this transducer right here. This comes with the traditional 83200. Um, and chirp and then it also has the side scan and the down scan imaging this is the new 3-in-1 HD transducers that are shipped with the pros so you get the 1200 kilohertz on the on the side scan and down scan imaging we move away from that the most common transducer for the freshwater guys is the 83200 HDI transducer this transducer is a skimmer, as you can see by the design. I'll show you the 50 and the 5200 HDI version as well. The design of this transducer is made for skimming on the water, so that means that you, once you're on the plane, that you can actually track the bottom. Whereas with the 3 and one you'll have to drive a little bit slower to track the bottom because it's not made to skim through the water. Uh, another option for the deep sea guys, this is probably the most common transducer for a trans amount uh, for anyone fishing under the 500 meter mark. Uh, this is the most common, it's a standard 5200 watt skimmer with, uh, with the 9 pin plug that will plug in directly to a Elite FS, uh, HDS Live, HDS Pro. And then for the guys that want a little bit of an in-hole option, um, we have the P79. I know some guys uh, prefer to go in-hole because they're beach launching and they think they're going to break the transducer of the transom. So we do have an in-hole version. The cup is set to 20 degrees dead rise. So you work out the angle of your hull, uh, you know, adjust the cup accordingly, fill it with antifreeze and then clip this transducer in. Uh, what you need to remember that any transducer that goes in hull, uh, you'll need an external temperature sensor, which, which will be a NEMA 2000 temp sensor. Um, if you want temperature, if it's very important to you. And then just to show you the last transducer that we have, it's very similar to the 5200. They look exactly the same. It's just the HDI has got a downscan element transducer in it that will give you the 5200 traditional 2D sonar as well as downscan, where the standard skimmer for the deep sea guys will be standard 50 and 200 or high and low chip. And that's it, that's the range of transducers that we have in the Lorentz range. We obviously have a lot more bigger transducers, one kilowatt transducers, dedicated chip transducers for the guys going offshore. But yeah, there's, a, there's quite a bit of transducer options to choose from. So speak to your dealer, make sure that you get the right transducer for your right application. Thank you very much. Hey guys, remember to like, subscribe, Hit the notification button to be notified every time we upload a new video.